Hi, and welcome to Control Alt Delete. My name is Avery, and over the next couple segments, we'll be taking you through some basic troubleshooting techniques for your PC to help keep things running smoothly and keep you off the hold line. Whether it's trying to install something new, losing speed, conflicting issues, or just not finding the drivers you need or having your peripherals work, there's some basic things everyone can do to their PCs to make things run a little faster, get them to boot a little smoother, and just make life a little easier. You're going to start with our best friend, Control-Alt-Delete. Once we go into the Task Manager, it's going to give us a fair bit of information about what's not only running, but running in the background, and how much, res how much of the available resources it's eating off our computer. You're going to want to go through the basics. Things you know should be running, should be left running. Anything you don't need, you're going to want to kill. And the easiest way to do that is to right-click something and go down to End Task. Uh, we've got a fair bit of processes running in the background. I don't need my DVDs. Don't need that running. Dropbox we can leave up. Now, if you're ever unsure of what it is you're about to shut down, what it does in the, in the background, don't touch it. Only close things you absolutely are certain you will not be needing. Uh, for instance, I won't be doing anything here. Schedule scan, don't need that at the moment. Uh, you're going to want to avoid touching anything to do with your printers. Not because it's, it's necessarily the wrong thing, but because printers are notoriously a pain in the butt. And we want to avoid doing anything to upset them. Uh, console, those can all run. Once you've gone through here and you've minimized anything you're certain you absolutely don't need, we want to head over to Startup and remove anything we don't need booting up at the start. This will make your life quicker. Uh, if you're having some serious trouble, there's a good chance you're going to need to reboot the computer a few times. So once you've cleared your current running processes, you're going to want to head over to Startup and disable anything you don't absolutely need running at the start. If it's a program you like to use and use often, but still do not absolutely need at Startup, it doesn't need to be booting up on its own. It's something with two clicks of the mouse, you can have boot up at at a moment's notice, and it'll be there and ready for you when you need it. Uh, once we get once we get that sorted out, I'm going to do a quick reboot here. So now that we've rebooted, you're going to want to make sure everything is up to date. That'll be the next step. And as this uh, boot process comes up, you'll see. I believe Adobe or Flash is going to tell me it needs an update here. And you can watch everything come in during this part, during your boot up. Everyone likes to try and get ahead of themselves, start opening what they're going to be doing. Let your system get started. And you can see, as I was clicking around, we've already got a bit of freezing going on. There we go. So it's important to let your system boot. Uh, if anything you ask not to start up is still coming up, shut it down. There we are. So now that we've shut down all the processes we don't need running in the background, killed anything running at the startup that we absolutely do not need, and things are already running a little smoother, the next step is to make sure everything is up to date, including your operating system and any programs you use often. Uh, you're also going to want to do some basic house cleaning and possibly a defray. We'll cover what, how, and why it's important in the next episode. Thanks for stopping by.